Hey, this is Phil from Explosive Films, and I'm back with another After Effects tutorial. I want to remake my tutorial that I did for the film look in After Effects 6.5. Now I got for my birthday this wonderful After Effects CS5 and the whole production premium set, which is awesome. So, yeah. Uh, one positive point is also that I got the English version here, so that would be quite reasonable to use. Okay, so the first thing we do when we have a when we want to do a color correction, we got ourselves an adjustment layer where we put these effects on. So at first, I want to get myself a tint effect. So go go to color correction, tint. It will pop up here as you see the default sets it all to black and white we don't want that we just want to desaturate it so we put it to about 40 percent okay and you can already see the difference it's not as saturated it doesn't look like a whole movie anymore so next thing we want to do is really put some color into that scene so we got ourselves uh, levels adjustment there we go so the first thing we do is we push up the contrast because that's the problem with DV footage is it's that pale you know so we push up the blacks and maybe also the whites a bit to create that contrast and also you can go into the channels and now adjust your color when you want to have just a, 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 a pale scene a quite crushed scene you can leave it just as, as it is so you can just push up the contrast and that's it but you can also go for some looks for example a matrix like look go for the midtones and push them into the green and also maybe the higher tones and that would be kind of a matrix look as you can see but that's maybe too much so we put that down and just go for a slight color correction now you can also put the reds a bit more down to make it darker also go into the blue channel and put some blue into that scene and that looks pretty nice I think that looks pretty pretty good okay the next thing we want to do is get another tint because we have all of that color back into the scene and we don't want that much of colorizing so just a slight tint 25 maybe 20 is enough and you can see already see the difference it's not that colored you know okay and that and the, uh, at, in the end we just go for a final levels adjustment and get even more contrast into the scene adjust the midtones maybe make them a bit darker also play with the higher values and that's it that's a pretty nice color correction and as you can see it looks much better see here the difference before and after that's just that was just four minutes not even four minutes of color correcting and this is how you get your scene to look like a real movie one other thing you can do is create a vignette which um, doesn't fit into all of your scenes but it looks quite nice in some darker scenes for example so we just get ourselves a black solid make it comb size go for, a, for, go for the ellipse tool double click it there you have your ellipse put it to subtract feather it out and there you have it now I don't like it to be that perfect so maybe you can adjust the edges 
make it look like a bit more natural, you know? When you create effects, you ha always have to go for a natural effect and don't don't exaggerate this effect. Just make it a slight slight edge. Go for the mass expansion here. That's what I do. Play with that around. And there we go. That's our scene. So pretty, pretty solid, pretty, pretty state, straightforward um, color correction. And you can you can do several looks with this. You can also go for for a much sunnier scene. Just go into the red channel in your color adjustment. You can also name this, of course, and get the reds back for example put the green down blue down and there we go that looks like a sunnier scene and that was just half a minute of color correction so as you can see you can do a lot with just these uh, adjustments and really enhance your scenes especially in very very bad looking uh, PAL DV footage. So After Effects is doing a lot for you here. So I hope I will see your projects soon with some nice color correction in After Effects. And I hope you will subscribe because if you subscribe, I will do more of these nice tutorials. So until next time, this is Phil from Explosive Films signing out.